Good morning everyone, this is Rocco coming at you with a 10.69.2.3 update. They keep on adding, changing up the numbers and making it longer and longer. Um, but, we're just going to do a quick test to Saluda and back. Uh, you're probably not going to see, I mean you maybe see one test the town and back, um, but uh, probably not until the weekend. I don't really, I, I don't suspect much difference on this version. Um, however, the two things I have noticed so far is that map navigation routing substantially quicker. I don't know if it's because I was on Wi-Fi or what, but it is way quicker to um, route as well as the points I put on the map actually show the road instead of unknown location. So those, that's definitely been improved in this version. Uh, I, I think this is just a bug fix version. So maybe they've just refined it to, maybe they've gotten rid of Phantom Break and we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's gonna see how this does here. I'm gonna probably just make this a one take video. So just uh, skip to all the parts. I'm gonna have um, uh, chapters in the video. So you can just skip around to anything notable. So, no, tried to break hard right there still. Uh, definitely tried to break hard. Let's see if it breaks hard right here. Yep, same spot. It's like it's coded, like hard coded to break at these spots. I don't know why this person has a break sound. Wow. Um, it's like it's hard coded to break at those spots, and it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, some some people said it was these uh, the barriers or the, the medians that was causing that, but I'm not sure. And so it's still slowing down around this curve, which, I mean, to, I guess, the average person who isn't used to going around curves, this is, this is very comfortable and is acceptable. However, from my point of view, I'm like, I'm, I'm comfortable going 50 around this curve, like, with the car driving. I've had, I made it do that before. Like, I think 45 is totally comfortable. It should stay the speed limit going around that curve. It's not, that's not an extreme curve for this area. It's very normal curves for this area so coming up we have this turn right here that has a uh, stop sign however the stop sign is on the opposite side of the road it is not for us however regularly it has tried to stop at that stop sign and so we're gonna see if that tries to do it this time and it also I suspect it could have been related to my waypoint so I moved the waypoint up a little bit to see if that doesn't change anything now turn right See what it does. See, look, it's 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 slowing way down. So I'm pressing the accelerator. I'm gonna go ahead and press the. Come on, go. You can do it. Pressing the camera button right there. Uh, they need to understand that the stop sign, the start sign, is coded by map data, which is why the car should not rely on map data. It should rely on. Oh, uh, it should. Um, should process more on what it sees and less on what it has geocoded into the map data. It should be like maybe a 75-25% split or something like that. So basically like if it doesn't see something then it's going to fall back to map data. Hey crow. <laughs> the crow just decided to fly in front of me. Um, 500 feet, turn left onto Colorful Street. No! God, no! Okay. Let's see what it does when I go out of waypoint in here. I don't know. Wow, much, much quicker rerouting. Look at that. Wow. Very quick rerouting now. That, see that? I had major issues with that on the previous, actually all three previous versions. And so this is like substantially improved when it comes to quicker routing. And now I need to cancel now this point. Your destination is on the right. let's, let's see if it will automatically now reroute. turn left onto Gaffney Street. Okay, so it almost missed that turn. In um, it should go a little bit slower down this area. Your destination will be on the right. 
going too fast. It sees a person to go. It slowed down. Of course, it's, it's, it's not making it look. It's, it's almost trying to do it. No. It, you can see on the map that the the path planner was wanting to go straight. It made one flick to go... Um, to go, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> to go left. Um, but it just didn't do it. Um, where are we here? Gotta go back across the highway. Doo -doo -doo. I do wonder if, um, now if you watched AI Day, you notice they are doing the planning, um, not, I can't remember what you call it. Uh, it's where they, um, basically map the, um, area with, uh, a Tesla, just every every different angle they can map an area. So see, look at this. It wants to navigate that way, but to keep our route consistent, I want us to go this way. Also, it's going way too fast on this road. Okay, no, no. Okay, that's not a disengagement, but it, so that still needs to be improved. I want it to turn left. Oh, there's a car behind me. So, that's gonna mess that up, eh? In 500 feet, we won't count that as a technical disengagement, but obviously it messed up the routing. Um, it needs to be able to take the same route. And this is the quicker way. I want it to take the quicker path. Like, it shouldn't reroute itself. Like, it can take this this path. It should be able to do that. No problem. So, we have a car coming from the right. A car coming from the right. And we're good to go. So what was interesting about that, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but you can feel like the car was lunging forward. Like, it wanted to go, and then all of a sudden it saw the car and slowed back down. And then wanted to go again, and then saw this truck and slowed back down. It, it, it's kind of interesting that it like I, I wish he would even try to commit so early. Uh, but I think what's happening is it's the you know, occupancy occupancy network. That's what they call it. Um, it's not able to um, predict occluded areas super well yet. I mean, the fact that it can predict it at all is impressive. But it doesn't predict it incredibly well yet. And um, so that bridge to the right was causing it to occlude the two cars, and of course, uh, it's all in last second. So, but it still made it. That that's what matters. But um, this is basically really what's improved, drastically improved, like massive improvement. Our rerouting and the maps, like navigation, like way better. Um, night, it's, it's just so much faster, and uh, hopefully that stays that way. Um, now the other thing were, would be a voice command, so let's try like, um, seat heater set to 2. But voice commands were not good. Set temperature to 69 degrees. I don't know if it's, I can't even tell if it's up or not. That did really good performance on this turn. Let's try again. Seat heater, 69 degrees. Think dark. <laughs> Not seat heater. Yeah, connection error. Every time. We have cell single here. If we bring this up, we have three bars of cell single. It's not, it's not a problem with that. Set temperature to 69 degrees. It just doesn't work. Connection error. Every time. It's just so frustrating that, like, the entire 69 updates, I've had consistent connection errors. I don't know if that's due to it trying to upload data immediately. I suspect that could be why, and there's no way I can really prove it. We speculate. Some people have tethered their phones to the car, and they've seen how uh, they have seen how much data is uploading while they're driving, which um, is a lot, actually. But that's only been a couple cases, so we're not sure if that's happening. But that that seems to be the case that. Uh, when the car is up, uh, when when you're driving 
remote now, they are really opening up the data pipeline and just wanting to suck up as much data as possible and they are not going to rely on you getting back to Wi-Fi to do so. So they're just going to immediately turn single? Cool, dude. <laughs> you could turn on your turn single. Maybe it's just broken. I don't know. Um, yeah. But anyways, um, so they're not going to rely on Wi-Fi to upload the video now. So they're just going to crush the LTE networks um, to upload. So a little bit better at that intersection. It's probably going to break. Almost guaranteed it's going to break right here. Yep, see, look at that. Massive break. I'm just going to do a, right there. I think what we suspect, um, we suspect that dude, there's a um, stop sign that faces the highway for cars that are stopping getting off the highway. And we suspect, um, a commenter suspected, so I think I kind of agree that it's trying to stop for that geocoded stop sign even though it can't see it, the visual it doesn't see the stop sign like I don't even see the stop sign in my visual but yeah um it's anyone's guess what that could be but it's obviously I think I, I lean towards bad map data causing that problem if you have questions everyone I appreciate you watching um I will have more videos out later this week um if by the way if you're interested in seeing what full cell driving does with a trailer um click my link below and you'll see that um, hope you are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.